YouTube. Today we're going to make a video on how to bleed your brakes without the Toyota uh, scan tool. So I do have the procedure with me here. So here it is. Clearing DTC codes when not using intelligent tester. So basically what you do is you come down here to your standard OBD2 port. One second. And you want to connect pins number four and thirteen, which is your C G and T C. The next step is to get inside the car. And you want to push the ready button, the ready button twice without pushing the brake, and then you should see this light up on the dash, which means you're in the service mode or cleared, clearing DTCs, diagnostic trouble codes, I believe is what it stands for. In order to bleed the brakes, what you do is you push and hold the brake pedal, and right now it's pumping brake fluid. And I'll put you underneath the car so you can see what's going on. Oh. Here's the brake hose to the brake bleeder valve. And then I'm going to go inside the car and push and hold the brake pedal. So. So I can hold the brake pedal for as long as I want or I can let go as I did because I don't want to overfill this little tank. And when you're done bleeding the brakes, come underneath here and tighten up the wrench, move the bleeder, tank, pull the wrench out, that fell over, jeez, stay up. Alright, there it is. And then the last and final step to make sure that you don't have any uh, check engine lights, ABS codes before you get done, you're going to push the brake pedal eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do one, one, once or twice more just to make sure you've got all eight. And after that, you turn the car off. And you push the brake again, turn the car on. Oh yeah, I forgot. You turn the car off, come underneath here, and you pull your jumper wire out. So, where is that? Okay, you guys can see. Pull it out, set it on the ground, and then you Hold the brake down, you push start, and your car is working as normal. The brake light's on because I'm pushing the, the handbrake down. And this is basically how you clear your, di your uh, diagnostic trouble codes or bleed your brakes. It can also be used if you don't have the uh, TechStream or the Altel DS708, I believe it's called, that can, that can put the car into the air bleed method. So as you can see, there's no lights on and the car is working properly. And if you and I've heard of stories of people saying that if you change your brake pads, the I've seen videos on YouTube where the where the lights are blinking on the dashboard. So that's that's how you clear them. If you don't have the uh, Toyota uh, uh, Toyota Intelligent Tester or a, another high-level scan tool. So I hope this helps. I've done the same bleeding on a 2006 Toyota Prius, and this is my uh, uh, this is my sister-in-law's Toyota, which is a which is a, which is a 2010. You can see the Hello Kitty pillows, which makes it a girly car. But all right, YouTube, I hope I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave leave comments in the comments box below, and please subscribe. Thank you.